I'm here at Stanley Lake High School, home of the Gators, where the local buzz is all about blind quarterback Rhett Gutierrez. While he may not readily admit um, that he's a role model, he is and he understands that. I see all the colors and the shapes, but the way my doctor described it to me was it's like when you're watching cops and they're trying to hide someone's identity, they blur out their face. So that's kind of what it, what it is. His world may look a little bit different, but he doesn't let it affect his passion for football or how others treat him. He wants to do everything on his own, and that's a quality. Quarterback is arguably one of the most challenging positions on the field, and like anyone else, he doesn't go without his frustrations. It changed the offense from just a normal standard set to a shotgun. So that required Rhett not only to learn new plays and still pass the ball, but every single time the ball snapped, he has to catch it also. So now he's catching the ball and then either handing it off or throwing it. When I was little, I loved John Elway. So then when I started playing football, I wanted to be just like John Elway. So I guess that's what I've always done. Although Stargardt's disease has left Rhett legally blind, he has not let it control his life. He maintains a 4.4 GPA in his academic life and is looking to play varsity football next season. Every week he's got to compete to be on the field and it's going to be the same next year if there are two or three or ten quarterbacks that go out. And you know, the stories I hear of other people with star guards or deaf or anything like that, those hit me. For the Met Report, I'm Simone von Rivenberg.